Hi guys, Robotnix here. This is just a quick showcase for a medieval house that I've built on a corner plot in my medieval port city. Um, again, I've gone here for a double overhang, um, quite common in the medieval period. Um, also a nice mix of materials with stone on the bottom, Watland door on the middle floors, and then the use of tiles to try and give the house a sense of at least some sort of wealth, and um, that there's a wealthy occupant in here. Um, I've also tried to steer clear of any sort of flat edges, and um, there's a bit of a flat edge on this kind of wooden annex on the side, but I'm hoping to hide that with another building. Anyway, let's uh, take a little bit more of a detailed looking side, and I'll show you uh, what I've done. If we take a look inside, uh, I will admit I haven't done the interior yet, but I have managed to do the fireplace, and it's quite a nice design. Um, small, compact, doesn't really fit, sort of push into the room too much. If we go up to the first floor, again, lots of room up here. Uh, especially with the addition of the annex on the side, big bay windows. And if we go up to the loft, again, lots of room for additional space, additional storage. Um, yeah, I mean, generally, I'm very, very happy with this build. I'll say a little bit about how I um, constructed this. Uh, most of the buildings I do, uh, well, the houses anyway, are all timber framed. And this isn't just because it makes it easier to sketch it out, but it's also how in real life um, the buildings were constructed. Um, but yeah, I mean, that wrap about wraps it up. I mean, if this uh, is a popular design, I'll happily put up a let's build. Um, so yeah, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you soon.